Welcome kindergarten to your grade level link. I am so super excited to meet you. I am so super excited to get working with you. But before we start making our project, I'd like to do a little magic show with you. Would you like to do some magic together? Great. So I'm going to just move my camera down just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And I have these three glasses, right? And I'm going to take my nice pitcher of water and I'm going to pour some clear water into each container. Let's make them even, right? Okay. Just move you down a little bit. Now, in these three clear containers, I am going to put some color inside. So in container number one, I'm going to put some red. And I'm going to use a spoon here. And I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. So you can see. And now in container number two, let's put some blue. So I'm going to use my spoon and mix that up. And finally, in container number three, let's put some yellow. And I'm going to take the back of my spoon and mix that up. So, boys and girls, I have red, I have blue, and I have yellow. These three colors are called the primary colors because these three colors can make every other color. Okay, so boys and girls, let's keep moving with our magic. So we have our primary colors here, red, blue, and yellow. And now let's start to make other colors. So I'm going to take another clear container and I'm going to pour some water in it. And let's start with the yellow. I am going to put some yellow into this container. And now Let's take a little bit of the red and let's put it inside. Do you have any idea what color we're going to make when we mix yellow and red together? Let's think about that for a second. Any guesses? Let's find out. Here's my magic wand for today. And here's some red. And I'm going to stir some in. Wow, look what just happened, boys and girls. The red plus the yellow gave me orange. That's a beautiful color. I love it. So let's take another container now. This one's a little bit different looking running out of clear containers, right? And I'm running out of water. I need to get some more. All right, and let's pour some water in. There we go. And you know what? Let's use the yellow again. But this time, let's mix the blue inside this container with the yellow. Do you have any guesses what color this is going to turn? Let's find out. Here's my magic wand again. Let's put a little in. Wow, look at that. Boys and girls, look what just happened. I took yellow and I took blue and I mixed it by with my magic wand and I created green. So let's review. We have red, orange, yellow, 
green, blue, and now I have one more little container and let's take some more water, fill it up, and this time let's change it up and let's use, let's see, let's start with some blue. Okay, so there's some blue. But now let's take some red and mix it with the blue. Do you have any guesses what it's gonna turn? What color? Well, let's take the magic wand and let's mix it in. Whoa! Boys and girls, look what just happened. By mixing the red plus the blue, I was able to get, can you see what color that turned? It's violet. Isn't it beautiful? So look at this, boys and girls. The red, the yellow, and the blue just made three new colors. And boys and girls, these three colors, green, orange, and violet are called the secondary colors because they came after we mixed the primary colors. Okay, so boys and girls, I have you upside down here because I wanted to show you this creates the color wheel. We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. And together, they can make all different colors. Now, if you look at the circle I created using the glasses, red and green are opposites, and orange and blue are opposites, and violet and yellow are opposites. Opposite colors on the circle are called complement colors because they look great side by side. But if you mix complement colors, let's see what happens. All right, so I have one more clear container and let's mix some opposite colors. So let's take the green here and pour some in. And the opposite of green is red. Because check this out. Side by side, they look so nice together, but when they mix, I don't know, is it gonna work? Yes, it did. Look what happened. I got brown. When you mix two opposite colors together or complement colors, you get brown. So let's try that again. I bet you I can find another clear container floating around. Let's see. All right, there's one. So what were two other complement colors? Oh, that's right, orange and blue. Together, they look really cool together, right? If you're a Mets fan. So let's take some orange and let's take a drop of blue, mix it in. And I think I need a little more orange. And look at that. It looks green on camera, but if I show you up close, it has brown inside of it. So even though that this brown and this brown are not exactly the same, when you mix the opposites, you get a muddy color. Let's take one more glass. There we go. And let's mix the last two complement colors together, which are yellow and Violet. Pretty side by side, but let's see what happens when they get into the same glass. So there's some yellow. And here's a little bit of violet coming in. And there is that muddy color forming. It's a little hard to see on the camera. But look at how dark that became. So check that out. By mixing complement colors, I was able to get brown. Now, if you notice with all of my colors here, 
there's two colors you're never gonna see. Look at that, I have all these colors here to play with. But I do not see black, and I do not see white. And that's because black, or where's black? Black's over here. Black is a shade. Black can darken a color. But black is not a color. Black is the absence of color. And white is a tint. Because white has a magic power. And white can lighten a color. So if I take red and I take white and I mix them together, I'm going to get pink. And if I take blue and I take black and I mix them together, I'm going to get navy. And that's how we get different colors. And that's why artists name colors. So that way other artists know if you're talking about a color that has black in it, white in it, or if you mixed colors together. Okay, so boys and girls, this week, let's practice making a color wheel. So this is so easy to make, just follow along. And here we go. I have some plain white paper here, and I'm gonna start with red. And I'm using crayons, but if you have markers, you can use markers, or if you have colored pencil, you can use colored pencil. And I'm gonna put a nice big red circle at the top. Now, I'm gonna need blue, and I'm gonna put blue right here. And if you notice, I'm starting with the primary colors. So, there's a nice blue circle. So try your best to make it neat and careful, right? Because in art, you want to take your time. And now I need yellow. I have a broken yellow. That's okay. And this guy is going to go over here. Wow, this is really bright. And there is my yellow. So now let's make our secondary colors. And those are going to go in between. So yellow plus red equals orange. So I'm going to take my orange and I'm going to put it in right here. Sorry, my table's wiggling. And there's my orange. Now yellow plus blue makes green. So let's put the green down below. And finally, red plus blue gives me violet. And I want to show you something that just happened by making my color wheel. I'm going to use, let's see, I'll use this black right here. Look guys, the red and the green are opposite. The orange and the blue are opposite. And the yellow and the violet are opposite. And those are complement colors. And when you mix complement colors, do you remember from our magic show what we get? That's right. We get brown. So let me take a brown and I'm gonna put brown in the middle. Okay, so boys and girls, give the color wheel a try. And once you've mastered it and it looks like this, always remember to write your name at the bottom or on the back. That way we don't lose it. You see what I did? My name is Mr. Price. Do you remember that? And bring your color wheel to school 
and I will collect it and check out how you did. So I'm so proud of you. We already did our first art lesson together and tune in next week and we will have more fun together and we will start using our colors and making really cool projects. I'll talk to you soon, boys and girls. Bye.